granny, Zander. I believe that's our ring. I know, Islam. I believe you're right. Now, see. Hello, jot him down, store. This is Lum and Abner. Now, let's see what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, here it is, the first day of a new month. And inasmuch as the month is April, the day should not be an uneventful one. As we look in on the little community now, we find Lum and Abner in their jot down store, going about their usual tasks, unaware that this is April Fool's Day. Listen. Say, Lum, what in the world are them people lined up in front of Dick Huddleston's store for? Huh? Just look at them. There must be 10 or 15 people standing over there. I hadn't noticed. Look out there, right across there. Granny, I don't know, Abner. Maybe he's having a special on something today. Well, I wonder why they don't go inside and buy whatever it is in. I don't know. Come to think about it, when I come to work about an hour ago, I seen Tom Foster standing over there in front of the door like he's waiting to get in. Yeah, well, he's still there. Right there at the head of the line. See him there? Huh. There ain't a sign up on the store of any kind, is there? I don't see none. Don't reckon he's got a shipment of pepper in over there, do you? Well, I don't know. He never mentioned nothing about it to me yesterday. I was talking to him. That's cute. A couple of weeks ago, when we got in that batch of lard, we sold half of it to him. You'd think he'd do the same with the pepper. Why, sure. That don't sound like Dick at all. No, it don't. Maybe you better run over there and see what's going on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let me get my hat here. Er, wait a minute, wait a minute. There comes Cedric. Maybe he'll know what they're lined up for. Yeah, he generally knows about these things. I wonder if Dick's mad at us for some reason or another. Well, I can't think of nothing we've said or did to him. It'd make him act this way. Me he seemed friendly yesterday evening. Oh, oh, boy, oh, boy. Of all the beauty days in my life, this is a beauteous boy. <laughs> well, for the land's sake, Cedric, what in the world are you so happy about? Boy, oh, boy, am I happy. Yeah, well, we can see that, but what's it all about? What's happening? Yeah, and what about that line of people over in front of Dick's store? You know anything about that, Cedric? Oh, yes, Mom. That's what I'm so happy about. Boy, look at old Tom Foster over there. Have to laugh every time I look at him. <laughs> yeah, well, why is he over there, Cedric? That's what we want to know. Oh, happy April Fool's Day. April Fool's Day? Yes, Mom. That's what today is. All right, Doggy, this is our first of April, ain't it? Well, Granny, that bum forgot about that. What? Well, wait a minute, Cedric. Is this some kind of an April Fool joke that somebody's playing on Tom? Yes, Mom. <laughs> it's me. I- I'm the one that's doing it, boy. Yeah. Well, wait, wait a minute. Well, exactly. What are you doing, Cedric? Oh, happy April Fool's Day. Yeah, Cedric. Now, what? What did you tell Tom? Oh, anyway? I can't tell you. Oh, come oh, on now, Cedric. Let us in on it. What is? Oh, it's <laughs> not much. I, I just sort of hinted around that Dick Huddleston was going to have some cigarettes in today. He is. Douglas, where'd he get them? Well, he ain't got none. See, that's the joke. Huh? Well, wait a minute, though. Why don't Tom go inside the store instead of standing out in front of it that way? Well, well the door's locked. See, Mr. Dick's out of town today, and they don't know it. Huh? <laughs> this is the happiest day of my whole life. For well, that land sake. He went, went in the county seat today. Yeah, I recollect he told me yesterday he's going in there. Long about 5 o'clock tonight, I'm going over there and holler out, April Fool to everybody. <laughs> Well, Cedric, you surely ain't going to let him stand out there all day long, are you? Oh, yes, ma'am, I am. That Mr. Tom Foster's been pranking me for years, and I'm finally going to get even with him. Oh, happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> You're sure getting even with him, I'll say that for you, Cedric. <laughs> yeah, but wait a minute, Cedric. Did you tell all them other folks out there that Dick was going to have some cigarettes on sale today? No, ma'am, I don't know how they got there. Well, you better go over and tell him to get out of line, Cedric, not wait no longer. Then. Oh, no, my, I can't do that because Tom will find out and then he'll leave, too. Oh. That'll ruin my whole happy April Fool's Day. Yeah, that's right, ain't it, yeah. Besides, I, I believe it's a good joke on them others, too. Saves me from having to think up tricks to play on everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's working out better than I ever allowed it would. Well, you oughtn't to let all them other folks stand there all day long, old Cedric. Must be at least 15 people standing there. Fifteen nothing. Look at that line now. Huh? There's 30 people over there if there's one. Well, I'll be a polka-dotted possum. Look at that. And there's a lot more of them coming, too. Just look out there. If that hmm. don't beat all. Hey, looky there. There's Grandpappy Spear standing there. What's he in line for? He don't even smoke cigarettes. Well, that don't matter to a feller like him. He'll line up for anything. 
And look at the women folks out there. They don't smoke. What in the world are they standing there for? Yeah, I don't know. That's the way with humming. They don't care what it's for. If they see a line of some kind, they'll get in it. Yeah. Don't care what it is they're buying. If it's something that's hard to get, why, they want to get some of it. <laughs> Humans are sure peculiar people, ain't they? Oh, they're the cutest of anybody. Just a batch of sheep's all the air. Sometimes it makes me a little disgusted that I'm a human myself. Yeah, well, that's just about all a feller can be. Yeah, that's the trouble of it. Doggy, just look at that line out there in the house. Getting longer every minute. Look, the folks coming across the street there. <laughs> this is my happy day. Oh, happy April Fool's Day. <laughs> Cedric, I still think, though, you oughtn't to let them poor folks stand out there all day long this way. <laughs> no, if people are that idiotic, it serves them right. Maybe this would be a good lesson to them. <laughs> I believe that was our ring there, Abner. You better answer. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. Yes, sir, I'm glad you studied up this idea, Cedric. Oh, yes, Mom, so am I. Boy, just look at them still. Hello, John them down <laughs> store and library. Abner Peabody doing the talking. Some of them more than likely don't know what they're standing in line for. Huh? Oh, yeah, what is it, Elizabeth? Do what? Oh, well, Elizabeth, they ain't actual no... Yeah, but Elizabeth... Well, wait a minute, Cedric j- Yeah, but listen, Elizabeth... No. All right, all right. Yeah, sure. Goodbye. Always how things do get around. Don't tell me Elizabeth wants some cigarettes. Something just is ridiculous. She's here that Dick Huddleston's going to have some silk stockings in today. Silk stockings? And she wants me to stand in line and get her a pair. Oh, hell, I'll swear to you. She years. ain't never had a pair of silk stockings on in her whole life. I don't know what's got into that woman. Well, that's just another example of human psychology. Just because silk stockings are hard to get now, she thinks that she's got to have a pair. Yeah. Even though she's got along her whole life without them. Well, I tried to explain to her that it's just an April Fool's joke, but I could see it weren't no use to argue with her. No, well, sir, the more I see of humans, the more I wonder about them. So you look, there's a widow Abernathy out there. Got every one of her young'uns lined up right behind her. I know exactly what she's told them to. She's give each one of them some money and told them to buy all they can get of whatever it is that's on sale. <laughs> and look at Sister Simpson out there. She's got her tennis shoes on. You, you know what that's for, don't you? Huh? That's so she can run faster to get in line a second time. <laughs> <laughs> look, there's old Maud Toops out there, too. Trying to edge her way into the front of the line there. Look at... Uh-oh. Grandpa Horton to shove her so hard that way. Did he shave her? Yeah, look at her. Quick as she gets up, he's going to get whacked on the head with her umbrella. I know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, look at her. I know it is that, my daughter. Look at her whop him. <laughs> boy, boy. Happy <laughs> April Fool's Day. Good for her. <laughs> Andy, now there's your human psychology for you. Folks out there fighting to get in line for something, they don't even know what it is. <laughs> Grandpa's fighting all right. Oh, I believe that was our ring again, Abner. Oh, well, you get it this time, Lom. More than likely Elizabeth wanting to know if I got them stockings. Tell her I'm still trying well, to... Well, you answered. I want to stand here and watch that no, crowd. Go ahead, Lom. It's Elizabeth, I know. Tell her I'm over there in line or something. I don't care. Mm-hmm. Tell her I'm trying my best. Go on, answer it, Lom. Sure, excuse your thing. Line of people, folks just can't resist getting into it. Hello, John. I'm down store and library. Oh, what can I do for you today, Miss Lunch? Hey, Cedric, how about a game of checkers? Just since we won't have yes, no ma'am. customers today. Uh-huh. Oh, I'd love it. I ain't got nothing to do till about 5 o'clock. Good, good. Let me get the board out here. Yeah, there's quite a line of them, Miss Lunchford. See, where'd I put them checkers now? No, Mom, it ain't started to move yet. I know they're there. Oh, I know now. Oh, I think you've got time to make it. Kayla, we hunt barred them. Yes, Mom. Me and Grandpa speak. Oh, is that so? Tops off of pop bottles here. We can get some of them, Cedric. All right. Goodbye. Get a bunch of them. <laughs> now it's paper cleansing tissues. Well, see, Cedric, we, these pop bottle pops, uh, caps here off these uh, pop bottles. The ones upside down is a blackens, and the others is a good one. Well, give me some of them says strawberry ones. Yeah. Here, you take these yeah, right that's there. That's the funniest thing i ever seen in my life. Next thing you know, this line will be for bacon. Wait a minute. See, bacon. that's enough right there. All right, Cedric. You can be first. This one. Call yours the black ones. Some strawberries. Yeah. Go ahead. You know how to play, don't you, Cedric? Oh, yes, Mom. I know that good. I, I played Mr. Grandpap the other day and beat him. Oh, well, that ain't saying so much. Let's see now. Have we started yet? No, we will. Quick as you make your first move. You oh, move yeah, first. That's, that's right. Yeah. Uh, that's always one of my hardest moves right there. Yeah, well, hurry up. Just move, Cedric. Well, well can I jump you now? 
Of course not. Say, how in the world did you ever get to beat Grandpap? Well, come to think about it, I, I think I got that wrong, maybe. How? I think he was the one that, that beat me. I, I know one of us won. Well, I figured it was something like that. Well, hurry up now. Figure out your first move, Cedric. Well, let's see now. Let's see. Hey, Lom, how's the line coming out there? Lom, I say, how's the line up coming over there? Hey, Lom? Lom, where are you? For the land's sake. Did you see Lom go back in the feed room or someplace, Cedric? No, Mom. I was too busy playing checkers here. That's cute. He was here just a minute ago. He answered the phone, and I got to talking to you. Well, I'll be a polka-dotted possum. Look out there, Cedric. Mom? There's Lom out there in front, right at the end of the line. Look at that. He is? Yeah, all right, doggies. Wait a minute. We better get out there, too, Cedric, and get in line. Well, what, what, what is it we can get? I don't know, but whatever it is, it must be scarce. We better get some of it. Come on, Cedric. Hurry up. Thank you.